Chaos, take one. Thousands and three hundred and eighty five. song I wrote 20 years ago called Chaos. And back then, you know, I thought I was going to be the best guitar player in the world. You know, it was going to be awesome, but obviously I was not, you know, because then I saw the likes of Ingrid Malmsteen and Eddie Van Halen and Steve Vai, and I thought, why bother, you know, so I stopped practicing my scales and concentrating more on getting a good guitar sound and composing and the, the big picture. So. Right now I would like to show you how I make my guitar sound for the new Star One album. Okay, so far I've been using my trusted little pot, my cute little red pot, and I've been very satisfied with it. I used it for about 10 years. Uh, but this album, you know, was going to be guitar orientated, so I really wanted to have a very aggressive sound. And this is not a very aggressive uh, little preamp. So I've been trying loads and loads of pre uh, Finally, I decided on, if you follow me, on the Sans amp. I actually bought two. I bought the 1.1 and the PSA-1. And they really have that very aggressive attack. By the way, I'm not getting them for free, so... <laughs> okay, this is the sound of the... Sans amp the PS, PSA 1.1. You hear? Nice little attack. Nice uh, aggressive sound. To make it even more aggressive and even fatter, um, I actually um, plug the Sans amp in to the effects return, it's complicated, the effects return of the Martian, uh, which goes to the speaker and that's like a really aggressive sound. I'll play it here, I'll turn it on, might be a bit loud. really aggressive though I would not use it on its own because it's I think it's it's too aggressive and too thin to use it on its own so I double it with a warm amp a warmer sound more midi sound more of a 70 sound with the Bogner the Bogner uh, okay I'm gonna have to hook it up so bear with me Okay, I will demonstrate uh, the Bogner Überschall amp, and as you will hear, um, I hope you can hear it. It's a much warmer sound, a more midier sound. So if I combine this warmer midi sound with the very aggressive sound of the Sans amp, you get the sound of the new Star One album. Okay, now the most important part, I think, which is the microphones, the placing of the microphones, the speakers, shit like that. I find it very important, so come with me and I'll show you. Okay, 
First, I found out that uh, using just one speaker instead of a cabinet with four speakers actually gets you a better sound. I don't know what it is, but it gets a more aggressive sound, more bass. So here, there's just one speaker. I think this is a Celestion G12E or something. And the first thing I do is put two mics in front of it. There's a buyer mic and there's an SM57. Um, as you can see, they're about five centimeters from the cone. Um, sorry, I don't know what that is in inches, but it's about like this. Reminds you of something, no? Uh, sorry about that. Um, it's, yeah, they're both the same distance, very important, otherwise you get face problems. Um, and they're just half of the mic is in the cone. So, yeah, it's, it's just not like in the cone, because that's way too bright, but just on the edge, you know, to get that attack. Now comes the secret weapon, very important, and I only learned this for this album. Uh, that's this mic here, which is a ribbon mic, uh, a Peluso, I think it is. And I placed it here on top of the other one, so not in the cone at all. So if you hear this mic on its own, it's like <laughs> and you think like, what the f But this is actually, if you turn it up with the other two mics, so there's three channels there, uh, you're gonna hear get this bass, you know, that you've always been looking for. So yeah, this really is the secret weapon. This really is what made me decide to record with speakers again. So I place it on top somewhere there. So there you go. Secrets. It's gonna cost you. So in the end, I've got about six tracks of guitar parts, the rhythm parts. Uh, it's the Sansamp Direct. It's the Sansamp through the Marshall, the slave of the Marshall, and the Bogner Direct with the speakers. And I make a mix. So sometimes you hear six guitars, which is like three on one side, three on the other side. Some, sometimes you hear four guitars. And um, yeah, that's how I made the sound. So it's not easy, I'm afraid. It's not like, huh, let's plug in and go for it. But um, I think it's worth it. Okay, to finish it off, I'm gonna play a little part of a song from a new album called Human Scene.